Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're in Hollywood for the premiere of Adventures in Babysitting, and we're celebrating Disney Channel's 100th original movie. Yes, I'm so excited. Hi. Do you know how much I love the original? I, no, I, I don't. So much, uh, so much. I, I heard that the um, stars' parents of the uh, redo, they were fans of the original, so now I feel really, you know, Generational, but it is. It's something for a new generation. It is. It's completely new. Thirty years later, it's ridiculous. But there's some interesting callbacks, like to the original movie. I watched it last night, and I was like, "Oh gosh, I remember this." I am very jealous uh, of anyone who's seen this. Uh, I saw similarities just in the trailers alone, and I was like, "Okay, they're really setting up the same kind of shared universe because it wasn't adventure in babysitting." It was adventures, and who's to say there can't be more adventures in babysitting with different babysitters, different kids, different universes, different countries. I'd love to see a French or a British adventure, you know, au pair, a night in the town. Um, we can do this. So fun that they've taken the spirit, that essence of kids handling themselves in the big city on a big adventure to save one of their own. They gotta rescue somebody who's you know stuck in the city. That shared adventure and that shared universe I brings these two movies together. Yeah, and the spirit's definitely there. Do you have any um, memories from making the film that really stand out to you? Every single night you're there with all the trucks and lights and cranes and a spirited and impassioned and relatable director who loves movies and loves fun and zaniness and adventure and said yes to all of our ideas from Maya Bruton and Anthony and, and my and Elizabeth's ideas, we'd go, we want to do this gag. Like, it, it's gag number 37. We want to do a number 37 here. I go, okay, we'll twist it this way or run left instead. And, and it was so great. We all had this shared language of, of Martin Scorsese movies and Preston Sturges and Billy Wilder. You guys were sophisticated. Well, he gave us homework. He's like, you're going to watch uh, Bringing Up Baby, you're going to watch Arsenic and Old Lace, and you're going to watch After Hours. Wow. It's like, really? Okay. And Ferris Bueller's of distinct uh, influence as you have, okay, you go on your own, the parents don't know where you are, you're with your best friend and this girl that's you're like your girlfriend. You uh, go through a French restaurant, you have a musical sequence, and you just get back home in time. Uh, before the parents, very similar in feel of one of those adventures that goes to a lot of different locations that's come back, just like After Hours and just like Ferris Bueller's. Uh, just perfection. It is so good to see you. Congratulations. You. Enjoy the movie. You're going to love wait. it. Thank you. That's a wrap from the red carpet. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and let us know in the comments below what's your favorite Disney Channel original movie. There's a hundred to choose from.